How y'all doing? My name's Anthony. I'm with TacticalLife.net. Today, we're going to talk about our takedown rifle that you guys saw in the video. We've been getting a lot of questions about this rifle, so we figured we'd uh, do a little demo on them and answer a couple of the questions that we were having. So, what we mainly have here is a couple, a couple units that make this rifle. We have the Law Tactical Folding Stock Adapter, works on any AR-15, and the Handguard which is the actual technology. This is the Pantheon Arms uh, Romantheus Handguard. Very easy to put on, locks in place, solid. The way it comes off is just this little deep tent. You just pull down and turn right at the same time, which releases the locking collar from the handguard. And then more importantly is the bolt carrier group that's in the chamber actually keeps it from falling out. So all you have to do is just pull back just a hair and that releases it. The bolt is actually in the chamber, which keeps it, once again, from accidentally pulling out or having any kind of problems. So, since we do that, that is what allows us to change the caliber, the 300 blackout. Right on. And when you go from a 300 blackout to a 5.56 or vice versa, there's no bulk area group changes, no mag changes, purely just the barrel and the bullet. So, uh, a couple questions we get asked is a lot is on the reliability of it, the accuracy of it, which we actually just got done shooting a couple videos, which will be linked in this video, to see the uh, accuracy test using the Vortex Spark 2, um, switching from 300 and 556. Uh, we get a lot of questions about, you know, how does the bolt stay in and the buffer with the folding stock. So, the folding stock actually has, you know, the buffer detent and spring built into the backside. So it's actually holding it in there when it's open. The plug extends the area of how much you have here from the piece being in between. So when you need to take that out, you just pull it right out of the back of the bolt carrier. Let me see if I can get the bolt carrier to come out as well. So you see right here, this just plugs right into it. And then this little lever right here holds it from falling out. So everything is contained. You can't get the uh, anything going until you actually lock it back. So once it's shut, that little thing moves out the way, and now you can cycle the weapon. So um, another couple things to notice is that the everything self-contained here by the way that we design it with cookie cutter comp. So you don't have to worry about hitting any of your gas block and two pinch points here which is a, also a nice little design that we did. Um, a lot of people just wanted to know small things about the accuracy, which you'll see in the video, how it all works and stays together. The little components that we use here. So that's about it. That about wraps up the basics of this weapon. For more info, go to our website, tacticallife.net. Follow us on Facebook, Tactical Life Firearms, and uh, any questions you guys have, you can put them in the video. We'll do our best to answer them. You can call us. You can um, hit us up on Messenger, whatever, which way you feel necessary, and we'll do our best to answer. Hopefully, this answered a lot of questions, and if there's any more that arise, we'll do another video for it, and uh, we'll be happy to get one of these out to you. They'll be available in the full rifle package uh, as soon as we get our lowers in, and right now you have the build kit available, which are the complete uppers, the folding stock adapters, and stuff like that, and we'll have the second caliber available very soon. We just have to do a couple things to uh, mark it as a 300 blackout so there's no liability issues on somebody putting the wrong barrel on. So, hope you guys have a good day. Any questions, let us know.